everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my fall inspired makeup tutorial. I love these types of looks. They're very, they're not super dark like black, but they are very, very dark and warm and beautiful. If you guys want to see more looks on the Stardust palette, by Vegas Nay and Too Faced, then go to my Instagram, it is Madly Mitch, I will leave it down below. And I have other looks with this palette, specifically, because I've been wearing it every day since I got it. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, just so I know that you guys like these fall makeup tutorials. I cannot wait for Halloween, you guys, so if you guys have any more suggestions of what looks you guys want me to do, I already have my first tutorial plan. And I have my second tutorial plan, but I still, I want to do four minimum for um, October. So you guys let me know whatever you guys want me to do. If you guys want to see more videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Because that notifies you when I upload a new video. It's free, and it's going to make my day if you subscribe. So come, share this video with your family, your friends, amigos, co-workers, share with everyone. Make everyone see my face. Do it. Okay. <laughs> if you guys want to see this makeup tutorial, then just keep on watching. Alrighty, guys. So, we are starting with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is a great adhesive to the eyeshadow on the lid. And I'm just, I'm not zoomed in. So, I was zooming in, and we are zoomed in, and we're good to go. And I'm going to take the Stardust Palette by Too Faced, and I'm going to take Chandelier, and I'm going to put that all over our lid, just so it'll set the eyeshadow base. And it's also going to give us a good, um transition color for the brow bone and the layer and then I'm going to take millennial which is the orangey shade in the palette and I'm going to take that all up in the crease it is a matte color so it is okay and we are just building that color up girl we are building it in the crease we are making it look extra crisp extra fierce extra good and we're just doing that don't look at my little brow hairs don't look at them don't do it don't do it and we're going to add Girls' Night into the crease as well with another blending brush. And I'm just going to do that so it'll give us more depth in the crease. And it'll make us look sunken in like we're skinny when we're really 592, 573,000 pounds. La la. And we are just going to do both of the eyeshadow brushes just so it'll blend out and it'll look extra good and blended and then we're going to take double tap which is a deep burgundy shade and i'm going to put that all over our lid and it's just going to give us a deep base for the eyeshadow we're actually going to put on top and it just gives us a great purple tint to our lid as well and we're going to put on jackpot by uh, Too Faced as well in the palette. And it's a nice sparkly color, but since I applied it dry, it really didn't give any sparkles, and it kind of just flew off. So it just gave us that deep darkness depth that I wanted without going to black. Because black is not really crude. It's just not. It's not. And then I'm just going to take the eyeshadow brushes, and I'm just going to blend out the edges, because no one wants unharsh and uneven eyeshadow. And I'm just going to blend all that together, and I'm going to repack jackpot on the lid, just to give us more depth. And you can see that it's, like, super messy, you guys. You guys gotta blend it. Just work with it. And then I thought I had a good, decent, um... <laughs> eyeliner video but um i guess i don't so i it's all the eyeliner that i'll show you and then i'll show you the end product here and it's a good eyeliner and then i'm just gonna curl my lashes and stick them on not on your um actual lashes but like really so I just covered up the lash band with some liner, and then we are going to do move on to brows. So I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade and Chocolate. Um, I will leave my brow tutorials down below, but this is um, another way to use your pomades for your eyebrows. And we have brows done and eyes done. We are going to move on to the face with Nivea Men After Shave Balm as our primer. Oh my gosh, nigga tutorials. Oh my god, it's a lifesaver. She is like Beyonce. And then we're going to add the Maybelline Fit Me foundation on top just to give us a nice matte foundation. Mm -mm. And then we're going to buff it out with my Real Techniques um, Body Blender dupe type of thing. I think it's called um, 
I forgot what it's called. This is a sponge. They call it a sponge. And it has a flat side. And I'm just going to use the flat side for the foundation. And then I'm going to apply MAC Cosmetics um, Pro Longwear Concealer for our under eyes, our nose, our forehead, the chin, the mustache, and all that good stuff. Just so we can look like we're flawless. And we're going to use the same Beauty Blender um, sponge. And we're just going to buff it, girl. Buff it, buff it, buff it. It's going to look really, really pretty. And we're going to look flawless. And then we're going to take Airspun. And we know we are going to bake our under eye, girl. You know it. And my sponge had so many excess powder on it. Because I put it in my Airspun that night. And, oh my gosh. So I just had a whole bunch of powder. And I just powdered my entire face. Because, you know, I'm oily. And then I'm going to take Derma Blend, which is a super mattifying powder. And um, I just put it on top and I kind of blended it in. And it kind of gave us a really smooth finish, matte finish to the face without looking dry or crusty. I love this method of these two powders because I feel like when I do these two powders, I just look porcelain. My pores are gone. And I'm just taking off the excess um, powder of her under eye. And then I'm just going to bronze my skin with Max. Give me sun bronzer. I love this bronzer. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's the only bronzer I truly, truly wear almost every day because it looks so good. The formula is A1. I love it. So we're going to do that on the forehead, the chin, the freaking contours, cheekbones. And then I'm going to contour with Hula Bronzer. This is my love, the love of my life. I've had this for a year now and it's still my ride or die. It's just I can't get enough of it. It's... A definitely a repurchased product. And we are going to apply our blush, which is Milani's Baked uh, Luminoso Blush that everyone wears and raves about. And it's just amazing. I love this blush. I usually wear... I usually didn't wear blush because I didn't know how to use it and wear it properly. But now that I do, I love it. And then I'm going to take um, ColourPop's uh, highlighter and lunch money, and I'm going to put that in our nose, our cheekbones, the cupid's bow, and chin. And then I am applying Becca's champagne pop right on top of it, honey. Mm hmm. And then I'm going to go back to the under eyes, and I'm going to apply Millennial and Girls' Night under our eyes, just to give us some depth in our eyes again. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply Jackpot and um, Double Tap under our eyes, just to give it more depth and more darkness and more deepness and very sultry, and I love it. And this just looks so good. It looks so good. And then I'm going to apply Better Than Sex Mascara. Oh, be sure to blend out the edges because we don't want any harsh lines. And then apply Better Than Sex Mascara. I forgot to include a clip, but I did put mascara on before um, lashes. <laughs> and then I'm going to apply my lip liner, which is uh, Essence Satin Mauve, Satin Mauve Lip Liner. And I'm going to apply ColourPop's Limbo Liquid Lip Stick. On top of it. And it just looks so pretty, you guys. I love ColourPop's colors. Lip, lip liquid lipsticks. Look at that. And don't judge me because they're uneven, but it's still perfect. Look at me. I'm so pretty. And that's the tutorial, guys. Make it, make it, make it if you try.